New at 11, Norfolk is trying to step up its use of crime-fighting technology. In a presentation to City Council, Interim Police Chief Mike Goldsmith explains why forming a real-time crime center will advance the department. Angelique Arentalk fills us in on the rest. It is becoming more and more an accepted public safety practice to have these centers that are operating 24-7 to be able to give us eyes on the street. Norfolk's interim police chief Mike Goldsmith identifies the installation of automated license plate readers and live feed cameras in so-called hotspots as some key elements to building a real-time crime center. What it does is give the officers the ability to see it happening, develop a response before they get there, and make us more efficient. If we see something developing, before it actually erupts into violence, we can get officers there. He says 21 staffers, mostly civilian with some sworn officers, will also oversee a collection of live streams. It would include city-owned cameras and feeds from community partners like the schools and hospital system. All a perceived benefit, city leaders say, to their force, which is down by more than 200 police officers. These become eyes of some of those positions that we can't fill. It has nothing to do with us policing more in the city. It, it's about policing where we know we have the police. Goldsmith anticipates the center to get up and running by June, pending funding approval. Initial costs of nearly $2 million are mostly covered with money from the state. A bigger hurdle, Goldsmith says, could be the expected recurring costs of approximately $660,000 a year. Meanwhile, Virginia Beach and Portsmouth both have plans in the works for a real-time crime center. Newport News and Hampton are operating their own versions of it already. Angelique Arentalk, 13 News Now. And remember, Norfolk is still searching for a new top cop. Tonight, we learned more than three dozen candidates applied for the position. The firm leading the search is reviewing and narrowing down those applications. Former police chief Larry Boone, he retired in April, and today we learned he did not get the police chief's job in St. Louis. He was one of two finalists for that job.